Beware Sports Therapist says you are not exempt from the robot revolution. Trials are underway for a prototype robot named Emma, which is short for Expert Manipulative Massage Automation. And she's already treated 50 patients in trials. Some of them have even been professional athletes. So far, she's treated conditions ranging from tennis elbow, stiff neck and shoulders, to lower back pain. So, just all of my ailments? Emma is the brainchild of Albert Zhang, a graduate of Nanyang Technological University in Singapore, who spun out the startup AI Treat to develop and eventually bring Emma to market. Emma is a robotic arm that comes with a 3D stereoscopic camera and a custom-made 3D printed massage tip. It uses sensors and diagnostic functions to measure the response of a patient and the stiffness of a particular muscle or tendon. The detailed diagnostics are analyzed and uploaded to the cloud so the patient's recovery can be closely monitored over time. The idea was to create a high quality and repeatable treatment routine that would improve sports recovery, reducing reliance on trained therapists. After the clinical trials are completed, a second generation robot will be developed that is more compact and mobile. Hands of gold. A team of University of California Riverside researchers has created a system of blocks that essentially work like Legos only they build customized chemical and biological research instruments instead of, you know, a colorful proton pack. You know, because you can't afford the real toy. But that's okay, it's life experience and you know, your imagination. I never had one. According to the university, the blocks are called Multifluidic Evolutionary Components, or MECs, because they are both flexible and adaptable. Each block performs a basic task found in a lab instrument, like pumping fluids, making measurements, or interfacing with the user. Since the blocks are designed to work together, users can build anything from bioreactors for making alternative fuels or acid-based titration tools for high school chemistry classes. The blocks are especially well suited for cash-strapped settings, where a library of blocks can be used to create a variety of different research or diagnostic tools. Really, the blocks can be used anywhere in need of a scientific instrument. Hands of gold. This year at the Farnborough International Air Show, Lockheed Martin unveiled a European-built Sikorsky Black Hawk helicopter that showcased the types of weapons that can now be integrated onto the multi-role aircraft. The armed external wings on the aircraft now feature four weapon stations for fire suppression and elimination of armored targets, with launchers for a mix of Hellfire and Dagger air-to-air -air ground missiles, a 19-shot Hydra 70 rocket pod, and an FN Hernstow Belgium-manufactured rocket machine gun pod. What, is that a real thing? A rocket machine gun pod? That's, that is cool. Weapons inside the aircraft that would be used by the crew include an FN Hernstall 50 cal machine gun mounted to the cabin floor and window mounted 7.62 millimeter miniguns. The miniguns could also swing into a fixed forward firing position to be operated by the pilot. Depending on the chosen weapons configuration, the cabin can seat troops for armed assault and close air support of ground troop missions. Alternatively, the cabin can store additional ammunition for the guns and rocket pods and an internal 200 gallon auxiliary fuel tank system for extended range and endurance required for armed escort missions. The display represents the types of weapons Lockheed Martin can now integrate onto the medium lift military utility platform that's renowned for its multi-role capabilities. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design.